thingy. My man. Yo, what's up guys? It's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today, I'll be checking out ATZ's MV for Inception. Now, I know I'm late to this, but I had to prepare myself physically and mentally for this release. I've got to admit, ATZ is one of the special groups out there for me personally where I've got to check out all the teasers, the previews, you name it. And you know, I've listened to a bit of Thanks and Inception, saw the choreo that tied along to both songs. Hey, I'm not gonna pick a favorite to be honest until I see more of the live performances and everything. But both songs have their merits, you know what I'm saying? Inception, so emotionally driven, I feel like. While Thanks has a nasty, sick beat that is so grimy to it. But other than that, guys, let's just get into it. Alright, 80s Inception, got the captions on, got this in 4K, let's go. Fuck B, 80s, the whole collective. All right, all right, let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, Young right there. Okay, Hongjun. Loving the tempo of this song. Momentum's picking up now. Yes. The choreo to this too. Yes. Oh. What? A dance break this early? Oh, wow. I love your song this era. Thingy! My man. Yes! Love the emotional drive in this song. But what I can't get enough of this MV though. It's just the pool of water, the lighting on in the room. Like look at that, just being projected, the lighting. I'm dreaming a dream every night. Oh, here we go. Where's this headed, though? Yes! Get them vocals! I 
I can't get enough of the chord progression in this song, guys. It's crazy. Oh, we're not done yet. And that leads into part two, right? Hong Jun at the end there with the eerie music or instrumental at the end of the MV. What a release, guys. What a release. I got to give it to ATs. You know, even though I haven't had crazy amount of listens and runs to this song this might be my favorite release by them to date really i'm really serious about this like shout outs to them shout outs to the collective shout outs to the people behind the scenes okay i've seen the highlight medley for all the songs and inception all these songs olander and lee's significant influence in the melodies were heard i really felt that by um the two producers and eden if you guys are not familiar with eden his works electronica edm works um that he's done uh for others as well as by himself and his influence on 80s wow i love the chord pro progression to this song like i said um earlier and how emotionally driven it is. I can't get enough of that. If you guys don't know me, I'm a sucker for songs that really are emotionally captivating and it entraps you in that, that climactic release with the high vocals there near the end. I think there's a lot to highlight when it comes to this MV and the song that ties along to it. I feel like both really complement each other first of all whoever decided to implement a dance break near the beginning versus the end or anywhere else is genius okay even though it feels kind of odd and out of place it works so well guys the overall lighting in the one room with the projector of the flames and everything really glowing and reflecting off the pool of water that they're just like breaking down with their choreo and everything and then and then you got these scenes with the rooms with the bed and everything like i feel like some people may think or try to point out that this is lower budget in terms of any 80s mv that they've released in the past before but I think, in my opinion, it it hasn't changed or it has lowered just a bit, you know. There's many reasons why, you know, performance-wise and all that stuff. But most importantly, I feel for the mid-tier to lower-tier labels who are struggling in terms du during this pandemic, I mean, right? And I'm seeing that happen a lot. Um, so in having singles or having um lower budgeted mvs but the way that they directed this th from the lighting the editing and everything seamless guys seamless i'd have to say and it really complimented each and every member uh who really got their their own special spotlight here and there and then my boy Mingy, okay? If you guys are not familiar with my channel and everything from my first listens and everything, Mingy attacked me with his rap verses. Got to love it. Not too long, not too short at the same time. Um, meaningful at the same time too, though, if we really want to talk about the lyrics. I love how in a when it comes to AT songs, there's substance. And what I mean by substance is the overall lyricism okay the theme that they're really going for with inception and the story that they're trying to convey with the mv and the lyrics it's everything guys 80s is just that one special group that's in my heart tucked right in here they really are something else and i can't get enough of their music so i can't wait to check out the choreo for thanks as well 
and 110%, you already know, I'll be doing a first listen to their album as I actually pre-ordered all of their versions. Gotta support my boys for this comeback and just in general. Everything's still processing, guys. Everything's still processing from what I just witnessed. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys really enjoyed this though be sure to like share and maybe subscribe it really helps out the channel and it just warms my heart being able to connect with you guys in the comment section down below take care have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are i feel like Uyang and sanghua really attacked me this era but we shall see during the first listen, during their live performances, or any videos that you want to check me uh, check out. Sorry, in like 4K, maybe Studio Tomb or anything like that. Let me know. This has been Garrison. Be sure to educate yourselves of what is truly saddening and what's going on in the world right now. If you have not yet, be sure to. And peace. Just keep it up. Just keep it up.